morning and a very warm welcome. You are watching Janata Television and this is the English Bulletin with me, Sushan Thakal. The top stories first. Kathmandu's mayor infected with coronavirus, capital sees a surge in infection. Public transportation to resume after 17th of September. Government to rescue 800 stranded citizens from abroad every day. Central Bank removes inter-bank ATM charges, sets new limit for withdrawal from ATMs. United States register 6 million COVID-19 cases, several states reporting record single-day infections. And the year's first Grand Slam US Open begins in empty stadiums, several star players pull out of the tournament. And now the news in detail. Mayor of Kathmandu Metropolitan City, Bidya Sundar Sakya, has tested positive for coronavirus. The Metropolis confirmed yesterday that the mayor has been infected by coronavirus. His swab sample was collected three days ago. According to the mayor's secretariat, Shakya decided to undergo PCR test along with his wife after she started feeling unwell. However, the report of Shakya's wife turned out negative. Mayor Shakya did not exhibit any symptoms of coronavirus. He is currently in home isolation. The government has confirmed 890, 899 new cases of coronavirus in the country. Among the new cases, 298 were reported in the three districts of the Kathmandu Valley, informed the Ministry of Health and Population during a regular press meet yesterday. Of the total number of cases, 190 surfaced in Kathmandu alone. Likewise, 67 cases were reported in Lalitpur, while the number of cases in Bhaktapur was 41. With this, the total number of COVID-19 cases in the country has climbed to 39,460. According to health authorities, Kathmandu Valley currently has over 5,000 active cases of coronavirus. Meanwhile, the death toll from coronavirus has climbed to 228 with the confirmation of seven more victims yesterday. A four-year-old girl is also among the fatalities. According to the ministry, a total of 21,410 people have been discharged from hospitals across the country so far after recovering from the disease. As of today, there are 18,822 active cases of coronavirus in the country. The government has adjusted the price of PCR tests to encourage more COVID-19 tests. According to Dr. Jageshwar Gautam, spokesperson at the Ministry of Health and Population, PCR tests can now be availed by paying a maximum of Rs. 4,000. Earlier, the rate of PCR tests was fixed at 5,500 rupees. If the swab sample has been collected and tested in the same lab, the test will cost 4,000, but the test but testing the swab sample in different lab would cost additional 400 rupees, Health Ministry informed. Indra Jatra, the traditional festival of Lord Indra, the god of rain and good harvest, is being observed in Kathmandu today in a low profile ceremony due to restrictions imposed by the government. The trio of Hindu deities, Ganesh, Kumari, and Bhairav are worshipped in the historic Kathmandu Darbar Square to mark the festival. Normally, the head of the state, prime minister, ministers, high-ranking government officials and representatives of diplomatic mission observe the Indra Jatra procession in Hanuman Dhoka. But the chariot procession this year has been cancelled due to COVID-19 pandemic. In previous years, a large number of locals as well as visitors from abroad used to watch the ceremony with great enthusiasm. It is believed that the pole is erected during this festival to send a message to Lord Indra, the god of rain, to stop rainfall. The government has decided to allow the operation of public vehicles only after mid-September. The cabinet meeting on Sunday decided to resume public transportation along short, medium and long routes after 17th of September. 
earlier. The government had said it would allow public vehicles to resume operation from August 31st. However, the rapid rise in number of coronavirus cases forced the government to review the decision. The government has also suspended regular flights until September 17th. कोरोना को संक्रमण जोखिम कायम ही रहेगा देह को उन्हाले सरकार ले तिस्तो किसी को सेवा चाहे आइले नहीं संचालन करना यो भदोस्तोर गते देही नहीं संचालन करना जोखिम मुक्त न रहेगा उन्हाले तिसले असोज एगते सम्मा को लागी सारिये को Meanwhile, the Council of Ministers has assigned the provincial governments and the local units to set up isolation wards after assessing the COVID-19 situation in their respective areas. However, the government has assigned this job to the Ministry of Health and Population in the capital. The cabinet has decided to use the beds of private and community hospitals as isolation beds in case they are required. काठमांडू उपत्य को हक में स्वास्थ्य तथा जनसंख्या मंत्रालय ने काठमांडू उपत्य में रहकर सरकारी अस्पताल आवश्यकता अनुसार अन्य निजी सामुदायिक एवं शिक्षण अस्पताल र स्वास्थ्य प्रतिष्ठान समेत प्रयोग में लिया आवश्यक संख्या में आइसोलेसन बेड को प्रबंध करने Meanwhile, the government has decided to rescue 800 stranded Nepalese from abroad every day. Likewise, the reopening of educational institutions, including schools and colleges, holding examinations and conducting sports training will be allowed only after September 17th. Traffic police have taken action against almost 12,000 vehicles defying prohibitory order in the last 12 days. According to traffic police, action has been taken against 11,783 vehicles till date since 19th of August. Prohibitory order has been in force in Lalitpur, Bhaktapur and Kathmandu after the risk of COVID-19 outbreak drastically increased in the last few weeks. According to Bhim Prasad Dhakal, Chief of Metropolitan Traffic Police Division, all vehicles defying the prohibitory order have been put on hold in different areas of the Kathmandu Valley by the traffic police. Vehicles operating for essential service, however, have not been stopped, Dhakal added. The number of defiant vehicles has reduced in the last few days compared to earlier days as people have been self-aware. Dakal further informed. The district administration office has ordered the traffic police to let vehicles carrying food, vegetables, drinking water, dairy, petroleum products, ambulance and press to operate freely. Incumbent Vice President of Nepali Congress, Bimalendra Nidhi, is set to be the presidential candidate from the establishment faction in the upcoming 14th General Convention of the Grand Old Party. At present, there are three active factions in the Nepali Congress waiting to establish their stronghold in the upcoming General Convention. The Nidhi faction, which has always represented the Madhesi a contingent in the Nepali Congress, has this time shown interest in taking over the party's reins. Bimalendra Nidhi is the son of Mahindra Narayan Nidhi, a close confidant of BP Koirala in the Congress party. The Congress party has never had a president who is of Madhesi origin. Nidhi is from the establishment faction of Sher Bahadur Deoba. However, Deoba wants a second term as a candidate from the establishment faction, but a revolt from Nidhi faction might change the balance within the party hierarchy itself if Deoba does not back out from his stance. Many political analysts have, however, shown skepticism towards Nidhi's candidacy as his current role and position in the party is a result of a nomination rather than election. Therefore, this term, his true test will take place if he goes ahead with his candidacy in the upcoming election. And now the news from the economic front. Nepal Rashtra Bank has instructed private banks not to charge customers any fee for using ATMs of other banks to withdraw money. 
The central bank amended the Unified Directives on Payment System 2077 to remove the interbank charges on ATM transactions. NRB issued the directive considering the difficulty faced by general public to go to their respective banks due to coronavirus pandemic. Meanwhile, the central bank has also set a new limit for withdrawal from ATMs. The limit for electronic transactions through debit cards has been set at Rs 25,000 per transaction and Rs 100,000 per day. The monthly limit of withdrawal through debit card is Rs 400,000. NRB has also directed banks to inform the customers about the charge of cards for electronic payment, including service charge and interest and compensations while signing the contract with them. The central bank has also directed banks to inform their customers 15 days prior to the expiry of the card and about the card renewal fee through SMS. Time for a short break here at Jonathan Bulletin. Stay tuned for international news. Welcome back and now the international news. United States on Sunday surpassed 6 million coronavirus cases, nearly a quarter of the global total, BBC reported, citing a data published by John Hopkins University. One million new infections were confirmed in the country in less than a month. U.S. has also recorded the highest number of COVID-19-related deaths. The death toll has also climbed to 183,000, BBC added. Similar to India, cases surged in the United States after easing of COVID-19 restrictions. However, the pandemic has been under control in state of California and Florida, the worst hit U.S. state earlier. Iowa, Minnesota, North Dakota and South Dakota have been reporting new cases daily. Experts have reportedly predicted COVID-19 death toll in the U.S. to exceed 315,000 fatalities by the beginning of December. The, to the total number of confirmed cases globally has now surpassed 25 million, with more than 846,000 COVID-19 related deaths. Hamas, the Palestinian Islamist political organization controlling the Gaza Strip, announced a deal has been reached to end latest violence with Israel. Sources have revealed the deal has been apparently mediated by the Qatar government. Al Jazeera has quoted Yaina Shinwar, the Hamas's leader, as saying an understanding was reached to reign in the latest escalation and end aggression against our people. Israel is yet to make a comment on the matter. Unrest in Gaza Strip has continued daily since 6th of August after Israeli army launched attacks in the disputed region. In the meantime, senior U.S. and Israeli representatives landed in United Arab Emirates on Monday to conclude a pact that aims to open doors of diplomacy between Israel and UAE. Both nations have also urged Palestinians to negotiate for peace, Reuters reported. You are watching Jonathan Bulletin and now the latest from the world of sports. For the first time since the coronavirus pandemic took took halted sporting events around the world, one of the four major tennis Grand Slam, the US Open, began from yesterday. Several top names will not be playing at the Flushing Meadows, although there is plenty of star power in the form of Serena Williams, Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray. However, the event is taking place inside a safety bubble which includes, which includes rigorous tasting and restrictions on movement of players, the supporting staff and tournament officials with all games being played in front of empty stands. Defending champions Rafael Nadal and Bianca Andrescu are the high, highest profile absentees because of their health and travel concerns along with Australian Women's World No. 1 Ashley Barty and Wimbledon champion Simona Halep. Australian Nick Kyrgios is another high-profile absentee alongside Swiss great Roger Federer, who is recovering from knee surgery. 
We are at the end of Janata Bulletin and the headlines once again. Kathmandu's mayor infected with coronavirus, capital sees a surge in infection. Public transportation to resume after 17 September, government to rescue 800 stranded citizens from abroad every day. Central Bank removes interbank ATM charges, sets new limit for withdrawal from ATMs. United States registers 6 million COVID-19 cases, several states reporting record single-day infections. And the year's first Grand Slam US Open begins in empty stadiums, several star players pull out of the tournament. And that's all from the English News Desk for today. You can follow Janata Television and our programs on various social media platforms, including on our website janatasamachar.com. We urge all our viewers to follow government directives of the lockdown and follow healthy hygienic practices to keep safe from any infection. Keep watching Janata Television. Namaste.